So, I am here in my classroom because I have to attend a phonics training here at school at 8.30 and it's 7.50. So, I wanted to... This closet over here, I need to clean that closet out because I didn't do that one at the end of the school year. But they've moved all of the chairs and stuff over there. Hold on. See? Because this isn't where I placed the furniture before I left. So all of the furniture has been pushed to one side of the room. So I'm not going to be able to... Because I don't know if they're getting ready to do these floors. I don't know. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Which is the reason I got here so early. Now, I did get a new desktop for my teacher desk. See? So I won't have to use my laptop. And use all those cords and things like that. So that's cool. Um... And then also I noticed that I have way more space that way up there between the number 10 and the end of the wall. So I can put guided reading strategies up there and I can use my laser pointer because this is going to stay my guided reading corner. Above my alphabet, I want to put the sign language alphabet. So maybe... I'll just print some stuff. Can I get to my cardstock? My cardstock is in the file cabinet. So yeah, maybe I'll just do some color printing. And I can get to an empty scrapbook case. Alright, so I just put this extra long twin sheet up. And it covered half the board. I like the white paper behind it because it's not so see-through. But we don't have any more of this white paper in the building. And I wanted to go ahead and get this up and done. It's cheaper to only buy two of these sheets versus four and double them to make four pieces. So... Maybe I'll go and buy some white paper and go ahead and put it behind there. So it's 3.30. Um, we got out of our training a little early. And I ran into the custodial team and they said that they're done. In our rooms with the floors, they just had to come back and like clean all of our classroom rugs so we can work in our classroom. So I can move these chairs out the way and like try to like organize this closet a little bit i may work for maybe a couple hours because i can't print anything because there's no color in the printers currently stuff that I had in these two containers so like staples for my staple gun velcro command strips and the problem with this is that I would buy more every year and not know that I have any because I couldn't find it or I couldn't get to it so now I'm going to consolidate this all into one I already started throwing like some loose objects that were included away. And then too, I think that I'm gonna get rid of these extra extension cords or take them home because I don't really need them here because this school provides us with extra ones. All the shelves are cleared. I need to figure out how to fold this beach stuff so I can put it in a container. And then I'm not going to worry about this right now because those are anchor charts. It was really just the shelves that I was concerned about. So I'm going to wipe them down and then 
I'm going to do, I'm going to section out this board right here. So this is what I'm envisioning for the whiteboard right here and then the wall space right there. I'm envisioning having a math wall right here um, and then this board here. So I'm just gonna take some tape right now and do that and then with a dry erase marker, I'll label it so that when I come in to do like my actual decor next month, I won't be having a guessing game of what I want it to do and then I can see how it goes and see if this is really what I want. Okay, it is Thursday and that's coffee. I'm here an hour and a half early before the training because I'm gonna do some printing and then also um, I never put anything back in this cabinet so I need to figure out where those things are gonna go and I don't know if I need to leave everything on one side until they clean my carpets because the carpets are all rolled up over there. So we're just, we're kind of winging it. I think I might start taking my books down and inventorying them. We've got an hour and a half to play with. So I pulled these books out of my August bin. And I have all of these stacks of paper that don't have any folders. So I need to make those neat. But these are some first week packets that I had. So I need to go through and organize. And then on my computer, I have four read alouds for August. But I only did three. One, two, three. So I need to print everything for number four and then make the anchor charts. And then under this, I have my rated PG movie permission slip because that has become a big thing in the teaching world. And then my meet your teacher. I printed it on my favorite color paper because I forgot to write that in my favorites, that that was my favorite color, so. All right, we're on break, and I did not find the books for um, the first week of school that I need yet. I found some other beginning of the year books, but I still can't find Chrysanthemum, Giraffes Can't Dance. Um, I found Word Collector, but I'm missing um, what's the other one? My computer's upstairs, but I need to pull those books. So I'm going to have to go through each of those things up there, or maybe they're in those book containers over there.